On my workbench today, we have here a Pioneer 8-track tape deck. It is a model H-R99, and it is one of the finer 8-track tape decks that Pioneer made back in the 1970s. And it is finely made as far as the circuitry goes. It's well built, uh, you know, as far as its mechanics, and it's full of features. And probably the only feature that it's missing would be Dolby noise reduction. But uh, this one has everything else. It has uh, record level meters here on the side, as well as record level uh, controls. It has uh, microphone inputs. It has um, record, automatic level control, fast forward, program, and pause buttons across the front there. It has a real time counter. So you can see exactly how long your tape has elapsed. You have the track indicators here, one, two, three, and four, or program indicators. And there's a little button up, or a little light up there that says end. And that corresponds to the switch here, where you can tell it just play the tape once, or play it continuously, or just play one program over and over again, which is kind of cool. Um, let's look inside the unit here. And you'll see the back end of all those little switches that we saw there on the front. We have the uh, record and playback uh, preamplifier over here on this side. And we have a bunch of wires and the drive motor right there. We have um, the capstan right there. And hanging off the capstan is a belt that goes over here and drives the time counter that you see on the front there. We have uh, a little speed control module right here, which uh, controls uh, the speed of the tape. And we have a fuse over here and a transformer. And uh, I'm not sure what this board back here does, to be honest with you. Um, but it's very important, I'm sure, to the playback of this unit. Um, let's see. Anything else to show you? Oh yeah, of course, the uh, the playback head, which is right in the center of your screen now. And then just above it there, just above that uh, gold wheel, is uh, the uh, foil sensor that tells the machine when to change tracks at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the tape. So uh, if you haven't seen an 8-track, then maybe you haven't seen uh, my previous video where I go through um, the inside of a, uh, a JVC tape deck, similar 8-track deck to this one, except it doesn't record. And then uh, on my other, one of my other videos here, I show you about the differences between 4-track and 8-track, and this is a 4-track tape. And um, in one of my videos, I show you how a 4-track uh, a tape is played back. And the cool thing about this one is you can actually see the endless loop of tape on the inside. Whereas with 8-tracks, they decided to hide that from us. So let's throw a tape in and hear what it sounds like. This, of course, is a pre-recorded tape, and in a minute I'll play you a tape that I recorded on this deck. So here is some groovy supersonic songs here. <laughs> Unfortunately, the only time you ever see these meters light up back here is when the record button is pressed. And see, now you can see the recording level meters are on. It would be nice if they were actually playback meters too, but uh, on this particular unit, no. You will only see them when you are recording. So, I'm going to show you a tape that I took uh, most of the tape out of so that I could have a quick uh, playback of what I recorded, and this tape was actually damaged, so um, 
those of you who are fans of bread, don't worry, I didn't run up good tape. Um, but anyway, I took some DC Talk songs and put one on each track. And I didn't put the entire song on there. But kind of give you an idea of what this sounds like when uh, you record something that's modern. From, in fact, I recorded it from my little disc man here. So here it goes. I had this pack on my eye. And when we stuck his head out around the shade, and I told him, get yourself out here, I want to see. And a man told me I had come over there with a baseball bat. He reveals to me how ethical laws and reality our decency is taken upon. Jim Dom, who trust is on American pawn. Funny how it happens so suddenly. Hey, yo, Alex, kick. There's your pause button right there. Reality, our decency is taking a plunge. Fast forward. So there you go. This is um, a very, very nice deck, and it records very well and plays back very well, as you can see. And uh, the little uh, tape level counter there works, as you can see. It will, uh, I had this pack on my eye, and over stuck it. Moves with the me uh, music there, three minutes, ten seconds in. And again, um, I guess the only thing I didn't describe is the f headphone jack that's right there in the front, which is very handy. So anyway, uh, as far as jacks on the back, it has um, record in and record out, and um, that's pretty much it. Uh, as far as the work I had to do, I had to uh, make some adjustments, adjustments to this uh, unit here. This is the mechanism that uh, changes the tracks, and uh, when I got it, it was pretty much gummed up, so I had to uh, put some oil on it, lube it up, and uh, get it going again, and uh, that's... That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick overview of this Model H-R99 8-track deck from Pioneer, made in the 1970s.